Okay, I have gone around the basket twice. Can you see how it's made a little crisscross along the top? Um, I like my little crisscrosses to be at the top of my rim as well as at the bottom. That's just again my choice, so I try to line them all up so it looks nice and tidy. I've pulled things tight. I'm, I'm back here to the beginning where I started. I just, I've used my clothes pin here to hold things tight so things don't loosen up a bit. I can remove that now. You know, one more thing I wanted to tell you is that if you don't have a lashing tool, you can use a small flat blade screwdriver and that will work just you know, if it, it, it works, it maybe doesn't work as well, but it certainly uh, works satisfactorily. All right, here I am back at the beginning. See, I've only gone around this once, and I don't need all this extra read. I'm going to cut some of that off. It's just, at this point, it's just kind of getting in the way. So let's slide it through. And then to finish off, we do the same thing as when we started. We're going to go up in between our rim. I may have to lift the camera up and pull this closer to me so I have some strength here. Slide the lashing tool up in between the rim. Here it is. Okay, it's under that rim. It's also under the seagrass. I've made a channel here. Again, I could do it with a flat blade screwdriver. I'm sliding my reed up. Remove the lashing tool. Pull it tight. Now, take the lashing tool Flip it to the inside. See how that's coming through to the inside of the basket? Slip it to the inside. Slip the lasher back through. Remember, the name of the game is to hide your ends. That's that's just the biggest thing. And then slide it through. So I've got the I've got my tails there. I can cut my tails a little shorter. But I am going to wait until tomorrow when this has dried well, and then I will cut them really nice and short when I know that they're going to, uh, to stay in place. Okay, my basket is still slightly damp. I'm going to start with the first bit of finishing off my basket. You can see here, there's little, there's little hairs that stick up just, just from weaving and just from reed. There's little fibers that stick up, you can cut those off or you can burn them off. And this is one of those little butane uh, grill lighters. So my basket's slightly damp. I have not stained it. Please don't do this if you have already stained your basket. Also, four feet away from me is my kitchen sink with water. So if this basket should go up in flames, I can just pitch it over there and I'm landed in the water and everything would be fine. So one second, get this turned on. There we go. I'm going to try to put this close to the camera so you can see it will just singe off those little hairs and you want to keep the flame moving quickly because you don't want to singe and get a gray spot on your basket. So just keep the flame moving quickly. Just singe those little hairs. And can I check the inside of your basket as well for any little hairs? Again, I cannot stress enough, please. Don't do this if you've already stained your basket. Um, I'm not speaking from experience, but I am 
speaking from I have heard of weavers who have done that and their baskets have gone up in flames so I'm not gonna try it ever 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 and please don't you either so only when your basket has not been stained and it's just just slightly damp then go ahead and do that tonight now what I'm going to do I'm gonna lower this just a bit I'm going to it's it's setting real nice it does have just a, a very slight rock to it that's normal boy it looks it looks real nice all around I am going to set the Albuquerque phone book on it and that will dry it nice and flat then come tomorrow I will finish trimming off all the little uh, the little tails the loose ends I'll get it all tidied up nicely any extra little hairs I just cut those off with a manicure scissors um, that I didn't catch with the flame and uh, decorate it and we're done we're done we're done all right the basket looks great I hope yours looks as good too uh, send me an email uh, put a picture on your blog and, and link to me with it and uh, I'd love to see what you've been doing all right take care bye bye